Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here for January 1938, Germany. A little different term for Germany. Uh, they're going to spend $2 on a tech roll and they're going to save $24. And the reason for that is because Germany can buy medium armor and mechs starting in July of 1938. Uh, they can buy them in July 38. Everyone else has to wait till July 39 to buy tanks and mechs. So I'm going to save $24 this turn, add it to my other 24 next turn, and I can buy eight tanks, medium tanks next turn uh, as Germany. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to do a tech roll. I'm going to do one this turn. I won't be able to do one next turn, though. Um, so I think I debated between advanced subs and jets. Um, I think... Probably we'll go for jets. So that's eight or lower. So let's move this over here. If you notice here, I got a, uh, a new uh, dice tray. That's because uh, I was gone recently and my cat got locked in here. And she decided that she would use my old dice tray as a litter box. So I got a new one. All right. Jet aircraft for Germany, eight or higher. Nope, no go. Okay, uh, Germany had no lend lease because I think their view is that uh, this civil war can be finished without any lend lease. So <clears throat> the nationalists are going to target here and here and leave one guy back here so that this guy is surrounded again if all goes well. So let me pull these target markers off here, and we're going to move one infantry into here, like that, and then we're going to move this tank into here, like that, and then <clears throat> we're going to move this infantry into there, along with these two artillery and we're going to leave this mountain infantry behind in Madrid. So uh, I think I'm a little worried about this one down here um, but we'll see. This guy's going to defend five in the mountains which is why I took two extra and actually you know what what if I flip eh. see I can't decide whether to take two artillery into here or one artillery in this tank and put the other artillery down there. Um, because, uh, let me think about this. Yeah, let's just leave it that way. Um, I'm not sure what else to do. So let me move, um, let me move, which one should I do first? Uh, let's do this one first, um, because that'll give us some reference for maybe what we need to do there. So... I'm not going to battle board this one. So that's a mountain infantry and a light tank attacking in a clear land zone against a Republican infantry. So light tank attacks at four. So four or less. Miss. Mountain infantry attacks at two. There it is. And the infantry defends at four. And he missed. Okay. So. <clears throat> this guy's dead. We remove that so that once again becomes nationalist. Now this one. I am going to battle board this one. Okay. So this is a mountain defending in mountains. So he will defend at five. Let me see if you could see that. Yeah, you could. Um, the artillery normally attack at three. The mountain infantry normally attacks at two. He gets upscaled for the artillery, but he does not suffer a mountain penalty because he's a mountain infantry. But these two will get downscaled to two, and they get first strike. So two at two, first strike. Anything two or less, and this battle's over. Ha, huh, wow, okay. And now the mountain infantry attacks at three. And he hits. And then 
this mountain infantry gets to roll back at five. And he hits. So I think what we would do is probably um, mountain infantry. We have two mountain infantry left, two artillery. Yeah, I would probably lose uh, the mountain infantry. So this uh, civil war is not technically over, but the Republicans, as you'll see over here, they are down to one unit. Uh, let me put this right here. So these do this. And Republicans are down to just the one unit. And uh, it is just a normal infantry unit. The Russians with only 10 bucks probably would be foolish to put anything into this now. Uh, so that is all over but the shouting, like my grandfather used to say. So, okay, that is it for combat moves. Um, and now we will do some non-combats. Um, look at the situation here. In the actually let's do this uh, let's do this wanting to move these guys down uh, if you look at these convoy lines for the British um, this one here only has a dollar for the Brits and the French this one up here has three bucks for the FEC one for the French and two for the Netherlands uh, this one has three dollars for the Brits. This one has six bucks for the Brits, one for the French, three for the French, and one for the Italians. And this one has six for the British. This one has five for the British. So this one's not as important. So I think what I'm going to do here, and remember, Canada gets an income increase if a German sub ends up on a Commonwealth convoy line. So this one will go one, two, three here. Can you see that? Yeah. And then this guy will go uh, one, two, like this. So these two subs are now poised to hit this convoy line anywhere in here, uh, which would not, uh, which would be tough for the Brits to to search down. This one would also have the option of going sailing through into the Indian Ocean to hit this convoy line over here if it wanted to. I'm not sure I would want to do that as a German player. But I think these guys are pretty good where they are now uh, to start the game. And then these guys here, this is a coastal sub, so he can't go anywhere because he only moves one. And again, if he ends up on this line, Canada gets an income increase. But this guy will go one, two, three like this. And I, he will probably stay here um, because he can hit this line uh, when the game starts. Um, I think I'll have one other non-combat move for Germany. And I think I'm going to move this guy from Sudetenland down here to Austria. Again, if I'm the German player, I'm thinking eventually I'm going into Yugoslavia. I've got a mountain infantry and a normal infantry here to help with that uh, when the war starts. I don't think I need to do anything else uh, as the German player in terms of non-combat moves. So... Um, now let's go ahead and roll for uh, recruitment here. Um, the Nationals have one, two, three, four, five spaces in mainland Spain. So they need a five or less. And they missed. Okay. So... Uh, Germany doesn't get any bonuses. Um, they're going to collect 24. And they're going to add that to the 24 they already have, which means they'll have a total of $48 to spend next turn, uh, which will buy them six tanks. But no uh, tech roll. So let me take their 24, add another 24 to that. And that gives them 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8 for next turn. And let me make 
make sure I didn't miss anything for the German player. Deliver one lease, there was none. Collect income, there are no bonuses. No change in the victory conditions yet. So yeah, that's it for Germany. Uh, Admiral Seabass signing off for German turn, January 1938.